Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a very special G-Shock video. Today we are taking a closer look at the latest triple collaboration between Kid Cudi, Bathing Ape and G-Shock. This watch was released in conjunction with Kid Cudi's Man on the Moon 3 album along with many other merchandise. The watch comes in this cool looking box that has a camo pattern. On top of it, it says Kid Cudi and all the colors that you see on the wordings here are present on the watch itself. At the side, it says Moon Man. And on the other side, we have the Moon Man face logo. This can be seen on the backlight image of the watch as well. At the front, we have the Bathing Ape logo. Looking at the back of the box, we can see the official model code for this release. DW6900 Kadi 20-4CR Let's get inside and check out the inner tin case. Here is the tin can that comes together with the watch. We can see similar design elements. Kid Kadi on the top cover. At the sides, it says Moon Man along with the Moon Man face logo. At the bottom, we can see the Bathing Ape logo. Very nicely designed box and tin can for this release. Now let's go ahead and check out the watch. Such a beautiful design for these collaborations. This lower strap on the watch here is red in color with a glossy finish. At the top of the band, the Bathing Ape logo along with the word Kid Cudi in blue can be seen. And right at the end of the strap here, the word babe is imprinted in the same colors as well. Upon closer look, you can actually see glitters as part of the band design. This only shows up under bright lights. The band on the top portion is now in blue in color. Similar treatment has been given here, so it has got a glossy finish as well. Looks really cool. The keeper on this watch is in yellow color and it's got a matte finish. A standard silver buckle can be seen for this watch and on the inside of this buckle it says Casio Japan. Looking at the case back of this watch, we get the Bathing Ape logo engraved in the center and says since 1993. The base model used for this collaboration is DW6900FS and the watch is made in Japan. Back to the front of the watch. The main attraction is the bubblegum pastel pink colored bezel on this watch. It has a beautiful glossy finish. And if you notice, the button labels are all in different colors for this watch. The adjust button is painted in yellow. The G-Shock wording in white. The split reset. Uh, slightly brighter yellow over here, the mode button in blue and finally the start stop button in green colors. The watch face also has similar colors. The inner labels are all in green with the BAPE logo in blue at the center of this watch. This watch has a legible digital display that is tinted in gold. Matches very well with the rest of the colorway. Activating the backlight, we have both the Bathing Ape and the Moon Man face present as the image. This is how it looks like. Overall, I think it looks really good. Here is a quick wrist shot of this watch. Absolutely beautiful color combinations for this collaboration. In terms of features, you can expect all the standard features of a DW6900 series watch. We are now at the home time. This is alarm and we have timer, stopwatch and back to home time. Pretty basic standard features that you get from the 6900 series of watches. 
The watch was released in Japan on 20th February 2021 for 25,000 Japanese yen and it sold out literally in seconds. It launched later on KidKadi.com for 200 US dollars and sold out soon after as well. The resale value on this watch has skyrocketed since then. A quick check on completed auctions in Yahoo Japan shows a price of between 50 to 60,000 Japanese yen and on eBay it's going for roughly 450 US dollars to 500 US dollars. G-Shocks with bright color combinations are extremely popular among fans and this should come as no surprise. Overall, I love the design on this watch and the color combinations are spot on. The triple collaboration made it even more popular. Do let me know in the comments if you managed to get one for yourself during the sale and do you like the color combinations. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't and hit the like button as well. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see ya.